I wanna, I wanna drip like this. I wanna drip like this. Do some work in the morning. Now I'm on the midnight shift. I wanna drip like this. I wanna drip like this. Oh, they want me in a casket. Can't kill me, I'm a bad bitch. I wanna drip like this. Ooh, the gram is so vicious. It is. And I saw a clip where. <laughs> This is ruthless, man. The things people do to get some likes and some clout, as they say. But um, it was a video of a guy, of a couple, and, and a guy was out proposing in public to the girl. Somewhere, it looked like a boardwalk. They were walking or some sort of beach setting. All I saw was blue in the background, lots of blue, no skyline or anything like that. And the guy gets on his knees and basically fakes a proposal. And he said, basically ranting her and, and telling her, I'm not being with you. I'm breaking up with you, basically, because you can't keep your mouth shut. You told your girls that I ate your pussy while you were on your period. Yikes. That is ruthless. That is so scandalous to me. You know what I mean? But but it goes back to a, a feeling I have when it comes to dating. I am a big proponent of keeping my mouth shut. Even though I blab on this thing, I have a mindset when it comes to dating, when it comes to sharing that experience with a partner, you just don't say anything to anybody about it. Now, guys, this is the thing that I've noticed about guys versus girls when it comes to dating. Like, guys... In the beginning, if they're dating you, they will share the story. They will share, man, I pound that she gives me good head. Oh, uh, you know, that bitch that, you know, like they'll go into it because they haven't built that connection with you to be in a relationship status. But then once it becomes official, once you're a partnership, then I will never, I have not ever heard, very, I, man. I have not heard a guy talk about his sexual adventures with his wife in detail in my circles. I don't know about anybody else's circles. I don't know. But but it, common problem from my experiences, it lets me know that guys are not sharing their business with their main woman. Now, if they have a side piece, they will share the details. They will go ahead and say, yeah, you know, I went ahead and saw a side check. We fought. We did this, this that, and the third. Unless she's a long-term commodity. Now, if he's like in a kind of a love triangle, you're not. Gonna, whenever a guy commits to a girl, that guy would never talk about you. If anything, he'll complain about not getting enough sex. That's probably the only thing he, he may complain about or I've heard men talk about. But if the getting is good at home with sex... With their partner, with their main person, they, there's no discussion about it. There's no details about it. On the other hand, females are fucking blabbermouths when it comes to that. And I try to shy away from it. Uh, I remember I was talking to this girl, and I can just tell everyone would know the business. And I'm very, I, I, I try to, that's probably one of the top things I look for and like-mindedness is that you know do you keep our relationship private like i don't care if you want to put it on facebook i don't care if we are taking pictures but as far as the details of the nuances that go on in our relationship if you're one of those that when i see your mom or when i see your friend they might as well be in the bed with us <laughs> you know then i don't i don't want to deal with that type of girl because that that makes me feel uncomfortable. I, I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know if it's because I just don't like the gossip. I don't like people knowing things about me unless I share them. Because it's I, 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 I value the power of gossip. I value the power of of people having an opinion about you. You know, meaning the grapevine effect. That's a very powerful thing. I'll never forget in college. A professor in business class had told something to one person and and he told the the instructor told the person go ahead and say it to the person behind the back and then at the end the last person had to say what was told to them so by the time it got from the first person to the 30th person it was completely two different things 
that just lets you know how the grapevine goes it's, it's not going to be accurate people get information and they interpret it differently this is why i decided to do a podcast about my life about what's going on because if i die fuck no one's gonna tell my story better than me because i don't trust anybody to fully know me part of it because they i I feel there's no trust there and part of it because they haven't invested time in me or there's no mutual investment myself included so going back to the whole dating thing with girls they are fucking blabberbounce man they they when they get with a guy and they're happy they'll have these sex parties they'll have all these get-togethers and all they do is talk about their sexual adventures and i would fucking cringe oh my god I would hear it at work all the time. I, w- I would just hear from people all the time going to details. And I'm saying to myself, oh, my God, if the poor guy knew what his wife or his girlfriend was doing. It's unbelievable. The shit that they say. And I remember a girl telling me this. Bittersweet telling me this. I don't share information with anybody because it's none of their business. And I know that women take information and run with it. So let's just say if a girl is plotting against your man and she knew all the details of your man. Girls are known to poach a guy to flirt to see what they can do. And if they know all the details, this is why you have a lot of scenarios happen from girls, in my opinion, where the best friend or somebody close to them takes off with a guy. I mean, didn't we just see it recently with the Kardashians and the the best friend of the sister? She went ahead and, and had a little fun with him because those girls, they just talk about shit. They they put out their business out there if you keep it tight to the vest and have that respect then it's while it's good to communicate it's good to open up your feelings i think when it comes to the the relationship details of what's going on the good and the bad you need to keep that in house especially the good because whenever you start spewing good things about what's going on in your sex life how big his dick is or how good he's pussy or how freaky he is and how, how what he does right what you're doing is those people that are listening in it they may be a little bit jealous because they don't have a guy that does the things that your man does again this is just my opinion but it's a so contrasting experience with guys and girls because i'm going with my guys and we will not mention anything about the wife i mean i go out with my friend and there's nothing going on no discussions going on with hey man so how are you and your girl doing man like how's you and your wife doing everything good you know how's the sex life how's you know we don't we don't get into those details it's just a weird thing man guys the conversations are maybe the guys i hang out with i don't know but i don't see it as a big thing so when i see a scenario like that when the guy's calling the girl out you know he was butthurt because those are things you know what happens in sexuality is that many of us know that things that we like and don't like are taboo can be viewed in a negative light right and that's where i stay away from discussing personal likes and dislikes for me personally because i think that's only my partner's business to to talk about meaning that if if someone wants to know me and wants to date me then if you want to find out about that realm that's a one-on-one conversation like i i value intimacy uh, in, in the world of us being our world, right? And it's not about that I'm out there or anything. It's just more of saying, look, I just cherish this connection and I don't want to be sharing it with the world because it's I want to be a private person. Whenever I talked about people on, on here, it's been with something that has happened already. It hasn't worked out. But if I'm in the moment and if I'm talking to somebody, there's nothing I'm ever going to say because that's for us to just be in our world and, and enjoy and deal with. But, you know, and I'm okay with girls, you know, because, you know, everyone talks. I guess that's the part about it is that I don't have a problem with the talking is when and where. It's like, you know, you shouldn't talk, especially if you know your man is going to be around these people. Now, if you want to talk to a random stranger, and we all know people, right? Let's just say a coworker you're never going to interact with. Let's just say a coworker you go to the office with and, you know, you know, you get along great, but you don't really spend time outside of work. They're not going to be going to your events. You have different lives. And so you could talk to a person like that openly because you know that you're not going to meet the other person. If anything, worst case scenario, you see them at an event where everyone's at and you say hi and you go about your way. But you're not that person is not intermingling with you. You know how weird it is 
to know that your friends that we hang out with or your family may know the shenanigans that we do that is so fucking embarrassing to me i don't i don't understand why women do that and i've talked to women about that I, i've had in a group chat and i and i got into it like that i just said you know it's it's just weird how you girls talk openly about that and and there were and I understand their point of view they were just like you know that's one thing that we love we just love communicating and being open about the stuff that's going on in our relationships and i respect that it just doesn't rub me the right way because you're sitting here and you can talk openly about the shenanigans that you and your partner are doing and that's the reason why i stay away from girls that i know are close like let's just say i'm intermingling with people like five or six people and i like them right and four of them are girls and one of them likes me but i could tell that the girls get along very well they spend more time doing girl night town doing things i'm not gonna date that girl i will never date that girl no matter how much she likes me because i know she's gonna gossip as soon as she gets the goods she's gonna tell everybody else there and then what happens is when i show up to the next event or when we all meet up I, it, basically all those people might as well have been in the room with me and i don't like that feeling i i, I like to feel it, it, i like to feel if i'm trying to connect with somebody that it's between us two unless it's just terribly gone wrong which i have no problem talking about my stories and turning out the bad way but i think that's where i i don't understand the mindset because i think when you are opening up your your wheelhouse and what goes on in your relationship it's something that i don't feel should be done now again if you're done you're done like if you're divorced if you moved on if you want to go ahead and take some party shots or if you really want to explain how you feel go for it you know to the next person by all means because you're not no longer involved with that person but if you're still in the trenches with somebody man i don't get y'all ladies man I, that's like and that girl got it I'm glad. I'm glad to call her out, but you know that's never gonna stop anybody. You know I got called her out like, bitch, you gonna go ahead and tell your friends I ate your pussy while you're bleeding? Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. You know maybe he's freaky like that, and you know and, and that's something that you gotta respect as a girl. You gotta just respect that. You just can't be like, well, I'm gonna tell my girls all about it, especially if that's your man. Like if it's a if it's a guy you just got for the night, absolutely. Like I've had that happen. I've had I've had that happen in college where I had a friend. He was chasing somebody. He was he was the kind of friend I had that for some reason when I liked a girl, he liked to cock block. He liked to conquer it. I don't know what his rhyme or reason was for that. There are guys like that, by the way. There are guys that where if they know you like a girl, they'll go ahead and go out of the way to block you. And I've asked that to a guy. I said, man, why do you do that all the time? Why is it that every time I tell you I like a girl, you kind of go out of your way to to do that? And he just said it was something growing up. Uh, I've always had this thing where I, I've always, I, I guess he said somebody did that to him. So he's just always been that way ever since. Where And that's a weird thing. But anyway, but in this story, I remember I was in college and everyone was telling me that night, hey, this girl really likes you, man. She wants to hook up with you and talk with you. I'm like, okay, cool, you know, and I'm, and then my friend I, hears it as well, and he jumps in and starts being aggressive with her. I'm like, wow. And I was like, my, I was like, dude, what's up, man? Well, what's your, what's your problem? And he's like, look, it's all fair in love and war. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I've never heard that term before until then. I'm not a movie guy. I mean, I grew up with four channels, three or four channels, no cable, for a long time. So I didn't grow up watching movies like a lot of people did. And, yeah, it was all fair in love and war. And I was like, oh, snap. So anyway, I guess um, that girl that was interested in me had a friend that my buddy hooked up with. And she caught feelings over that move that he was making. You know, she was angry the whole night. She was like, I can't believe that. Where is he? I don't understand. And I'm just sitting there like, uh, I don't know. I, I guess he left with her. And, he, and she asked me, hey, can you just drive me over to his place? And I returned the favor. I said, okay, motherfucker, you know, you went ahead and took the girl. So I'm going to go ahead and spoil your night. So, but this was like an hour afterwards, you know, after he went ahead and left and the girl was sitting there at the bar and like 
still complaining and she she we both knew what was going on but she wanted to just see it in the face right so i drive him over there i drive her the girl that uh was really antsy about to seeing what happened to his apartment i was like yeah he, he i'll drive you there and sure enough <laughs> she, i remember this the girl was like asking him like yo what's up with you where you been why did you disappear and he asked, he said, why do you have scratches all over you? <laughs> and I, I forgot what he said, but it was something funny, like, get over it, man. Move past it. And she just got angry and they just had an argument. And of course, he was inside with the girl they wanted to get with me. So, you know, I, I'm kind of like the leftovers and I drive her home. I drive her back to the to the dorm. And she's like, just, hey, you want to come up with me? I'm like, uh, Sure. And, you know, she just plays around with me. Nothing major, nothing more, nothing crazy. And then after I release, she just goes, uh, you got to leave the room. I'm like, wow, okay. Like, it was one of those where she just wanted to do it, just to do it, and kick me out of the room. That next day, we had to fly out to Pennsylvania for a tournament, basketball tournament. And <laughs> I get to my hotel room, and one of my teammates goes, hey, man, I heard... Uh, the rumor on campus is that you did blah, 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 blah. You went up to... I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, how the fuck did word travel that fast? That girl... But anyway, that girl obviously just wanted to get back at her friend. So she got me up in the room. And then she just went to the cafeteria and just told the whole world. Hey, I brought men over and I did this because my... You know, it was just crazy, man. So, you know, I, I've always been timid about dealing with girls, especially in a capacity where I know they're being blabbermouths. Whenever I see them like that, especially at work, I, I just stay away. But that just tells you, man, the power. And, and I just wish that women would understand that it's OK to talk. It's OK. But I, I think when it comes to your marriage and what you do in it or your relationship, once you're locked in, I mean, just take a playbook from the guys. Just keep your mouth shut.